And again, with the emotions flying, you're going to look for both of these guys to come on. Come on, swing up. First 30 seconds. Absolutely, Greg. You know, adrenaline's one thing, but emotion is another. Exactly. And, and ex especially when you have the lighter guys. These guys are always have great cardio and can go the distance with no problem. Nick's coming out, trying to establish the inside low kick. Both fighter treading lightly here. Yeah, Amin with a nice high kick. Amin doing a great job of cutting off the ring here, Greg. You notice he's stalking yep. his opponent out of a southpaw stance right now. Nice check kick there. How do you like those check kicks, Greg? Those oh, yeah, I love this. Absolutely. We've seen a fight now. I get finished earlier from those. Huh? Great left kicks. How to fight as a southpaw there, Greg. You're a southpaw. Yep. Give us the tricks. How does a southpaw? Yeah, you know, look to, look to obviously kick to the inside leg, to the body, or to the head. But, uh, you know, most guys use a lot of feints and fakes to try to set those kicks up. Big right hand there by Amin. You know, both guys are established in the range. Obviously, you're seeing a lot of missed kicks. You can tell both guys have a lot of experience. They're both very relaxed. Nice right hand to the body. Nick coming from Gleason's, I would expect a little more boxing. Yeah, trained by Crew Ali. Says he's been training for a long time. Yeah, he wouldn't tell, exactly us, what that he wouldn't tell us how long. He's a crafty veteran. Nice straight right there. Ooh, Ooh down to opponent. Down to opponent. Tom Sconzo stepping in, breaking the action yep, real so quick. He caught the right kicking. Nice foot you by Amin. Sweet by Amin. So he's definitely looking to start to stalk him down and wa you know walk him down. He's doing a great job stalking his opponent, cutting off the ring. Nice low kick. And then a nice low kick. low kick. I think he sees something there, Greg. Yep. It's one thing I love about Lion Fight, Greg, is they allow the clinch. Absolutely. It's great to see. You yep, know, the they let guys work in the clinch. Mm -hmm. Ties really focus on a lot of the clinch work in the later rounds. A lot Absolutely. of the scoring gets done later in the rounds. Yep. So we're seeing the clinch early here tonight, Greg. And again with another sweep by Amin. Yeah, and Amin, he seems to be taking over in the clinch with the elbows and the sweeps. Smile coming from the face of Amin. <laughs> so a nice low kick by there. Nice, beautiful combination. Finished with a body kick. Great utilization of the ties, the tie weapons, the art of eight limbs. Punches, elbows, knees, and kicks. We're seeing it all here from yep. Bella Freak. Again with the sweep. Ten seconds left in the round. Looking for a tee. Oh, nice. A little desperation. That'll wrap up round one, Greg. Yep. Good round for Armin. He landed some nice combinations. He was excellent in the clinch. He stayed a little bit busier with elbows and knees. And, you know, I, I would say he got three perfect sweeps out of the clinch in that round. And the beautiful Natalie McGraw making her way around the ring here tonight in between rounds one and two. One thing that I always love about the small guys is they never run out of gas. These guys can go full steam for five rounds. But that was a slower round than I expected. Cardio has never been an issue from Bala Freak. Let's see if Nicholas Haynes here can keep up with the pace. Nice switch kick up high. Both guys coming out in the ortho stance for this round. Beautiful knee in the clinch. Another nice knee in the clinch. He's going to be looking for a sweep here. Brett Havel 
Belichick in the corner of Nicholas Haynes. He's a line fight veteran. Yeah. I mean, back in the lefty stance. So you're going to see him look for the inside kick or the body kick. Beautiful hook. Not sure if it's a look of determination or frustration on the eyes of Nicholas Haynes here tonight, Craig. He's starting to get frustrated, I think, in the clinch. I mean, is you know, he's very skilled on the clinch, and he has a lot of weapons. Great Beautiful elbow there. coming in. Both have a nice elbow return by Nick. Nice inside leg kick. I mean, he's catching a, a lot of Nick's kicks. A mean ball of freak in the black shorts. Seems to be controlling the center of the ring right now, Greg. Yep, back to the orthodox. He's orthodox, he lands the right low kick. When he goes south far, he goes to the high kick. Great body kick by Haynes. Tom Sconzo in there to check the action real quick. On top of stuff. Nice lead teep. We're a little over halfway through this round. Nice little trip. Close to a foul there, but no cigar. Tom Sconzo quick to check the action, wipe the gloves, and the battle continues, Greg. I mean, still in the orthodox stance. Now a nice right low kick. kick. Unchecked. Two in a row, not checked. Yeah, There's a third. third. Beautiful combination on the inside. Finished with a body kick. That body shot hurt him, Greg. Yep. I think we hurt him with the body. And now the knee to the body. Freak going back to yep. the body. Sensing the danger. Smells the blood, Greg. Does he go for the kill? Nice. Again to the body. In the, in the clinch with knees to the body and then the sweep at the end. You're seeing him pick up the pace here. He smells blood. Nice combination of the finished body kick. So Amin's doing a lot of stance switching when he's standing right in front of him. Always finishes with a body kick off of the combination. Beautiful stuff. Nice elbow. You know, Amin claims to be an orthodox fighter, Greg, but he's a little bit of lefty right He is. He switches stances, but he does very well. Ten seconds left in this round. Excellent switch kick to the body. Nicholas Haynes showing signs of wear, and that wraps up round two. Yeah, I think Nick took some damage in that fight. I think it's a lot of those body shots will take the wind. Uh, take the wind out of your sails. But I, I mean, what I love about him is, is when he sees a little blood in the water, he goes after it. Nick took a lot of low kicks in that round. Nina DeCoco making her way around. Showing us what time it is. It's round three, Greg Ravello. Call me crazy, Greg, but I'm not sure this is a tough bout to score. My scorecards have a mean ball of freak. Two rounds ahead. Your thoughts, Greg? Absolutely. No, I totally agree with you. Uh, with the excellent clutch work and a lot of the low kicks, as you can see, Nick's coach really working on his legs in between rounds. And Tom Sconzo about to get the action going again. Let's see how well Nick recovered after that round. Nice combination. Finished with a body kick again by me. Nice teep right to the face. I love how he mixes it up with the strikes. Excellent sweep. A mean ball of freak. Looking to control the center yep. of the ring. Immediately returns. Spinning back fist to no avail. You can see how confident he is. He starts to drop his hands and kind of play with him a little bit. Bit of a smile there from Nicholas. Yeah. <laughs> looks like he's having a good time. These huh? guys are both having a good time. Nick's, you know, he, he's, he's still going right at it. There's no back down from this kid. There's definitely no quitting Nicholas Haynes. Ten and five. Excellent on elbow on his right. He's looking for that elbow right over the top. Again, beautiful leg trip here. He's looking for the sweep. Yep. It up. yep. Defended very well. Nice right combination. By you, I you believe you're going to look for Amin to go right back to the body with these knees in the clutch. Excellent. Sweep. Beautiful trip. This is high level Muay Thai, Greg, what I'm seeing here. It's as this thing. round goes on, as he walks him down, you're going to start to see him slow him down with these knees just like that to the body. It's one thing most foreigners have difficulty with, Greg, when they train in Thailand is the clinch game. The Thais have it figured out. Amin Bala Freak obviously doing his homework yep. here tonight. Absolutely, landing tons of elbows and tons of knees to the body, and excellent sweeps in every round. Nice right hand to the body by Nick. 
Finish with the left of the body. Excellent knees to the body. Went for a sweep. Bit of a trick. Slipped there by a little Nicholas bit. Haynes. Nice lead team. Bit of That's desperation great. coming from the corner of Nicholas Haynes. Yep. Tell him to keep his hands up. Perhaps they sense a little bit of desperation themselves, yep. Greg. Nice combination. Finish with a left hook to the body. And a right, a right kick to the body. And I think that kick to the body was the beginning of perhaps the end here tonight in yes, round three. As you can see, Nick is just walking backwards against the ropes, trying to just defend. Great teep to the face. Beautiful. There. Nice one, two, and a switch kick to the body. Ball of freak pouring it on here now. Back to the body, back to the head. Beautiful yep. job mixing up his combinations. Finishing with a low kick, almost a knee to the head there, Greg. This kid's all over him. Yes, he, he, I love how he level changes his strikes. You know, punches to the body, punches his head, kicks to the body, kicks to the head. It just, you know, when you mix it up like that, especially when the guy's tired, it makes it hard to defend. Man. And that's when you're going to catch him with a shot he doesn't see. Nicholas Haynes showing signs of wear. We've got Beautiful about 10 act. seconds left. I love how Amin just keeps going to the body. A nice little feint right there, left hook to the body. Bit of a slip. Yep. And that wraps up round three, Greg. I have it, uh, you know, three nothing here for Amin. Nick Haynes is hanging in there, but you can see towards the end of each round, he starts to gas out as Amin starts to uh, be aggressive and land shots to the body. Nick's corner, you can see them lifting him up, trying to shake those legs out from those low kicks. You know, he's down three rounds to nothing, so I, I would think you're going to see a sense of urgency coming out in round four. You know, it took us a long time to get this sport legitimized here, Greg Rebello. Thank goodness for Foxwoods Resort Casino. Our officials commissioned Vice Chairman Kenneth Reels, Dr. Michael Schwartz, all making it happen here tonight, Greg. Yes, absolutely. Live fights, you know, they do, you know, probably four or five shows here a year, and they always pack the house with great fights, and they bring guys from overseas, and it just, it's just always a great event. Yeah, Scott Kent, president of Lion Fight, has just done an, a tremendous job in promoting the sport here in the U.S., with matchmaker Scott Zier, uh, who is uh, Scott Zier, who is uh, coordinating all media as well. He's a huge asset to the Lion Fight Corporation. Oh, absolutely. Back to the canvas goes Haynes. Yeah, I mean, came up with a nice low kick and a sweep. As you can see, he just continues to walk him down with confidence. You know, Greg, what appears to be a dominating performance by Amin Balafreak, there's just no quit in Nick Haynes. Nope, Nick, he's still fighting. When he gets close, he goes to the clinch. He's just trying to survive here Again, with as he gets swept. Beautiful display of the tie clinch. I mean, he's just pouring it on here against the ropes. Beautiful knees to the body and another sweep. Again, goes to the canvas is Nicholas Haynes. And now he's going to get an eight count. Yep. Tom Sconzo sees that he's taking a lot of abuse. He's breathing heavy. Tom Sconzo looking to keep the same. No, I agree with that call. Yeah, absolutely. Because you can see he's visibly fatigued. Oh. He's taking a lot of shots. Great head kick there. Beautiful combinations. And they're, and they're stopping the fight. Yeah, they're the going to stop the fight. Amin Bala Freak with another big win. Another big notch on his belt from the tough... Nicholas Haynes, you know, you can't take the quit out of Nicholas no, Haynes, No, absolutely. Greg. But I think it was just, you know, a, a traditional kickboxer, boxer style, going against a guy who uses all the weapons, you know, in the clinch, with the elbows, with the knees. He just did a great job, you know, and obviously fighting from righty and lefty stance. He did a great job mixing things up. A mean ball of freak making his walk around here. A little bit of celebration going on in the corner of a mean ball of freak. Coaches must be proud. Absolutely, I mean, from, you know, beginning to end, that was a great victory. I mean, that was a great performance. A mean ball of freak, giving the judges a little break there in this boat. A little bathroom break for the judges, Greg. An impressive victory by Amin Balafreak, and we take it to our ring announcer, voice of Lion Fight Promotion, Sonny Franco. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the end comes one minute, 47 seconds of round number four. Declaring their winner by TKO from Sterling, Virginia, Amin 
Impressive stoppage here tonight, Greg. You know, anybody that fights for Lion Fight has an impressive resume. Stoppages in TKOs are not far in between, but tonight we saw one from Amin Balafreak. Very impressive win, taking on the tough. Yes, it's an excellent fight. I mean, he, he just showed how skilled he is, and uh, he's a guy that you know you gotta. I look forward to seeing him fight again. Sure.